Hi Fisher folks, Rich here again. So it's uh, Monday morning, I've got the day off work. It's bright and sunny with an easterly wind. So uh, I'm actually heading off to fish somewhere new today. So I'm heading up into North Wales. I'm gonna go and try a session at Mostyn. So I'm gonna be fishing down to low. Uh, low water's about two and a half meters at four o'clock. And uh, the main target's gonna be Conga in the middle of the day. <laughs> mid-afternoon sun and um, some rays but the water's coloured <coughs> so um, it shouldn't make too much difference in terms of uh, the conga whether they're going to be feeding or not so uh, it's going to be a bit of a hike to get up to where I want to fish um, I've tried to travel as light as I can which is not always easy when you're conga fishing because it's always worthwhile carrying plenty of leads with you and obviously quite a lot of bait so um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Uh, it's more of a wrecking mission really today, uh, obviously with a view to fishing it at night time later in the year. So I just want to see what access to where I want to fish is going to be like, etc. So uh, we'll see how we get on anyway, you never know. So uh, I'll see you later. See you later with the fish. Okay, first fish out. Uh, thorn back, six pound nine. So, uh, yeah, quite a nice little scrap off that in the flow and deep water close in. So, uh, yeah, oh, up and running. Hi folks, quick update. So uh, just the one fish between us so far. Uh, just recast out conquer rod close in, so that's big massive ammo squid with a fill of mackerel bound to it on an 8-0. Uh, quite a strange place to fish this really. Uh, it's so deep close in it almost feels like you're fishing off a boat now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're uh, still got a little while to go until low. Uh, ten for three, so we've got an hour, hour and ten before low water. So uh, plugging these baits out and uh, see if we can pick some up, and hopefully one of us, hopefully Gary, will get an eel. So uh, see you later on.
number two, little male one, spikes on the underside of this one. So uh, that was on uh, blue in squid again. So uh, get this little fella back. I know it is. Still there. Yeah, it's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. <laughs> Baby one. <laughs> Bloody hell, that was an old mackerel, you know. Fillet taken off one side. <laughs> Hold on, mate. <mate's. laughs> World's smallest conger eel. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not anymore. <laughs> See ya. Luckily I was just taking a old mackerel, probably the smallest uh, conger I've ever caught, but there you go, <laughs> it's a start anyway, so uh, let's get him back in the water and he can grow into a bigger one.
tide's turned now, uh, there's not much evidence of it running in at the minute, so uh, we'll see if we can get some fish on the flood. Crabs are very busy at the minute, so uh, baits are getting uh, stripped pretty quickly at the minute. So um, yeah, well, I'm not sure how long we're going to fish it into the flood, we'll see how it goes. Uh, having not fished it before, not sure what the flow is going to do or anything, but uh, we shall find out shortly no doubt, so uh, see you later on. Okay, so success, success to the conger at last. This fish just over 18 pounds. Took a whole mackerel, fished in close. So she had a bit of fight with her on the bank, but uh, we'll get her back now. Out of breath. <laughs> So um, got the last cast out now, tide's well on the flood now so we're going to be packing up shortly. So enjoyable first session, unfortunately Gary, <laughs> give me the blankety blank, did you hear that blankety blank, but <laughs> even though he's only 10 foot away from me, but that's sea fishing for you isn't it? So uh, yeah, enjoyable day and um, certainly a venue I'd uh, give another go, I think there's potential for some good eels here so uh, thanks for watching and I will see you soon fisher folks bye for now <laughs>